Lesson 2, Budget Management. This is the third court process, and budget management is the process of effectively planning and controlling the cost of your project. Here are the four steps in managing your budget. You plan the budget. You plan how you're going to organize, how you're going to manage, how you're going to monitor your budget. You execute the budget, meaning that you provide authorization for the purchases of all goods and services needed by the project. You control, you monitor how the actual cost of your goods and services are compared to what you originally planned and estimated. And if possible, you need to make sure that you are updating your budget to make sure that you're going to be having the information that will help you make the decisions later in the project. One of the tools that you can use to help you manage your project is to make sure that you have a distribution of your budget over time. That means that, like in this example, we have the list of all our activities in the project. In this case, we are just looking at levels of results. And then see the cost that you will have to incur on a monthly basis. In this example, we have a 10-month project that is at a value of a million dollars. Then you identify all the costs that you have every month, and that will be your baseline. That will be the information in which you're going to be using it. With this uh, data, you then create a chart. This is known as the S-curve chart because it has the shape of an S, and that means that from the beginning there are not that many expenditures, as you start making progress, expenditures will go higher and higher, and then you're finishing the project, and then you finish all those planned expenses. This is the plan. You're going to use that as a baseline and compare it to what's going to be happening in the project. So let's look at what would happen in the project when we are halfway through it, and we compare the data of what we plan with the actual value. The actual value is this dotted line that shows me that the project is costing me more than why I was actually planned or was actually estimated. The other line is the value, means that is the percentage of the value that we have been able to deliver in the project in terms of cost of services. So if we know that we have done certain amount of work and we completed that work in our schedule and, our, and then we look at the uh, compare that to the percentage of the 100% of the value of the project, then I can see I have this difference. That difference means that it is taking me longer to work on the project and it's costing me more to do that work. So it's a good uh, view that gives me some insights of what is happening in my project. Because if I continue in this train, I'm going to run out of money. I'm not going to be able to deliver all the goods and services I, w I have planned originally. So it's a good tool that help you look at those deviations and try to understand why is it costing you more and what changes you need to do in your project to modify it and make the corrections necessary so you don't run out of money or you end up having a project that doesn't deliver everything that has promised. Here are some tips to help you on budget management. Check for those variances in the estimates, like schedule and time estimates. Sometimes cost estimates are not always accurate, and they have a tendency to change, and those changes are so usually external to the project, like changes in currency fluctuations that will have impact. Uh, inflation is another element that will have an impact over time on the cost of the goods and services your project needs to procure. Monitor those project costs compared to your baseline on a regular basis. Don't wait until it's too late and there's little time for you to make those changes. Review your accounting data. That is important. You need to become familiar with the accounting um, that your organization is using so you can read those documents and have an understanding of what is and how your money is being spent. And become familiar with all the contract clauses. Understand what the donor is allowing you to use the money. There are many times where donors don't allow you to purchase certain items, and that be may become a problem. So make sure that all the costs in your project can be covered by funds, either from the donor or from the organization. Having that understanding will help you get a better control in managing your budget.